Arctic manipulation, mass effect fields uses in dozens of element zero nodules within the nervous system to react to electrical stimuli in the brain. Amplifiers allow biotics to synchronize the nodules so they can form fields large and strong enough to for practical use. Amplifiers that can improve a specific discipline or talent. Implant is a surgically embedded interface port in which amps are plugged in. In humans, the implant is usually placed at the base of the skull for convenient access, though the user must be careful to keep it free of contaminants. Implant ports can fit a variety of amps, and there is a growing market for modifications and add-ons. The finest quality implants and amps are manufactured by Asari Artisans. The Alliance's L3 implants first deployed in 2170. Significant step forward. Bally heck. Real-time communication is possible thanks to your network of expansive mass relay comms boys that can daisy-chain a transmission via lasers. Comboys are maintained in patterns built onward from each mass relay. Boys are little more than a cluster of primitive miniature mass relays. Each individual boy is connected to a partner on another boy in the network, forming a corridor of low mass space. Type beam communication lasers are piped through these tubes of FTL space, allowing virtually instantaneous communication to anywhere on the network. The network connects across regions by communication lasers through the mass relays. With this system, the only communications delay is the light lag between the source of destination and the closest boy. So long as all parties remain within half a light second, um, which is 150,000 um, kilometers, the boys' seamless real-time communication are possible. Since boys are maintained in all travel areas, most enjoy unlimited instant communications. Ship only, ships only suffer communication lag when operating off established deep space routes around uninhabited outer system gas giants and other unsettled areas. During wartime, convoys, convoy networks are the first target of attack. Once the network is severed, it can take anywhere from, from weeks to years to get a message out to a contested system. System where a boy network has not yet been built or has been destroyed. Rapid communication means ferrying information through high-speed courier ships and unmanned data drones. The Asari were the first species to discover the Citadel. When the Salarians arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the Council. An all-female race, the Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Asari can live for over a thousand years, passing through three stages of life. In the maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and experience. When the matron stage begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors. That is pretty interesting. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring... The Elcor are a citadel species native to the high-gravity world Dakuna. They are massive creatures, standing on four muscular legs for increased stability. Elcor moves slowly, an evolved response to an environment where a fall can be lethal. This has colored their psychology, making them deliberate and conservative. Elcor's speech is ponderous and monotone. Among themselves, scent, slight movements, and sub-vocalized infrasound convey shades of meaning that make a human smile seem as subtle as a fireworks display. Since their subtlety can lead to misunderstandings with other species, the Elcor often go out of their way to clarify when they are being sarcastic, amused, or angry. Dakuna's high gravity impedes mountain formation. Most of the world consists of flat, open plains, which prehistoric Elcor wandered across in small family bands. Modern Elcor still prefer open sky and can become restless and uncomfortable on long starship journeys. 
Volus. The Volus are a member species of the Citadel with their own embassy, but they are also a client race of the Turians. Centuries ago, they were voluntarily absorbed into the hierarchy, effectively trading their mercantile prowess for Turian military protection. Erun, their homeworld, lies far beyond the normal life zone of its star. However, the world has a high-pressure greenhouse atmosphere that traps enough heat to support an ammonia-based biochemistry. As a result, the Volus must wear pressure suits and breathers when dealing with other species, as conventional nitrogen-oxygen air mixtures are poisonous to them, and in the low-pressure atmospheres tolerable to most species, their flesh will actually split open. Ooh. Volus culture is tribal, bartering lands and even people to gain status. This culture of exchange inclines them to economic pursuits. It was the Volus who authored the Unified Banking Act, and they continue to monitor and balance the Citadel economy. Last one. After the Geth secure a loop. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station Presumably construct the council is an executive committee composed of representatives from the Asari republics the Turian hierarchy and the Salarian Union Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species the council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy No single council race is strong enough to defy the other two and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation each of the council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. The Salarians gather intelligence and information. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member, bound by the accords of the Citadel conventions. Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165. Okay. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy and create mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Intense okay. training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. The relative strength of biotic abilities varies greatly among species and with each individual. There are three branches of biotics. Telekinesis uses mass lowering fields to levitate or impel objects. Mass raising kinetic fields are used to block or pin objects. Spatial distortion uses rapidly shifting mass fields to shred objects. Most organic okay. species are capable of developing biotic abilities, though there are risks involved. Biotics are the result of an in utero exposure to element zero. This usually causes fatal cancers in the victim, but in rare cases, it coalesces into nodules within the fetus's developing nervous system. Interesting. Combat hard suits, you Medigel is a common medicinal salve used by paramedics, EMTs, and military personnel. It combines several useful applications, a local anesthetic, disinfectant, and clotting agent all in one. Once applied, the gel is designed to grip tight to flesh until subjected to a frequency of ultrasound. It is sealable against liquids, most notably blood, as well as contaminants and gases. The gel is a genetically engineered bioplasm created by the CERTA Foundation, a medical technology megacorp based on Earth. Technically, Medigel violates council laws against genetic engineering, but to date, it has proved far too useful to ban. Interesting. We've got quite a bit of information there. I'm gonna talk to the, the robot, I reckon. The pink is the furthest I've ever gotten this game. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Okay. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. 
programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Um, why was humanity... Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you, do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Um. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Yeah, investigate. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Right, you are. Cool, so had a bit of a look around. I'd say that's a good start. 
Um, looks like it's going to be a bit of a long game. I'm not going to lie. But I am happy with what we've done. So, if there's anyone just around on this bottom level for me to interface with. Reminds me a lot of Knights of the Old Republic, which is a game I absolutely used to adore. I guess I still do. But shall we point ourselves in the direction of that thingy lady? Just across the bridge, wasn't she? All the people standing around having their lovely conversations. Ooh, here's a big beast. Citadel, rapid transportation. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Yeah, Can't no I problem. just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Right. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Yes, sir. What is the consort? What does she do? Mm, it's difficult to explain. She's many things to many people and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I already have. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Um, I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, mm, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Hey. Yes, of course, mistress. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Well, what does she want to see me for? I don't know. You'll have to ask her yourself. Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Curiosa and curious. I see even the humans find the consort irresistible. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Right, so um, thanks for spending time with me. Hope you've had fun. 
Biotics. A virtual intelligence is an advanced form of user interface software. VIs use a variety of methods to simulate natural conversation, including an audio interface and an avatar personality to interact with. Although a VI can provide a convincing emulation of sentience, they are not self-aware, nor can they learn or take independent action. VIs are used as operating systems on commercial and home computers. Minimal VI agents are also available. Agents are compact and specialized. Some serve as personal secretaries, filtering calls and scheduling meetings based on user-defined priorities. Others are advanced search engines, propagating themselves across the extranet to collate user-requested data. Commercial VIs in a variety of stock personalities are available at any software retailer. Boutique firms and hobbyists also build unique VIs to personal specification. Although software emulation of living personalities is illegal, reconstructions of famous historical figures are common. Okay, so thanks for spending time with me. Uh, I hope it's been fun for you. It's been marvelous for me. I shall see you soon. Ciao for now. Bye.